Hi there. So this is the day before I leave Japan. It's been a phenomenal visit here. The conference in Fukuoka was great. Lots of fabulous polyglots, Japanese and uh, from other Asian countries. I'm sure glad we did the polyglot conference in Asia. I think they're probably gonna organize their own polyglot conferences. It's so heartening to see so many young people learning three, four, five languages. It doesn't matter if you're Japanese or Chinese or uh, any kind of ease, Americanese, Canadianese, everybody can learn and they're living proof of that. So that's quite exciting. Uh, I had some chats with uh, language related uh, video YouTubers and I hopefully will do more in the future. Uh, and behind me is the, you can just make it out, is the Marazen bookstore, uh, seven floors. Uh, I was in there, I like to visit bookstores, I went to the language department. It's astounding how much space is devoted to tests. It seems that conventional language learning here has more to do with how to pass a test than learning the language. Um, I'll show you some pictures, snapshots that I took inside. Uh, I think this is going to, has to change, it'll change slowly, it's like learning languages, it happens slowly, but there are people who see things differently. Uh, I was at a, um, call it a cram school, where they're using uh, extensive reading as their uh, main way of uh, teaching kids English and the results are much better than the traditional way and if people read a lot then they don't need to do these TOEIC books and the top 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 words, the key grammar issues in TOEIC, you don't need that if you've absorbed the language through lots of reading. And uh, for those of you who follow me on Instagram or uh, you, or at least uh, Facebook, you'll see the snapshot I took of that school. Um, I visited with, uh, there's a group of uh, polyglots in Tokyo who call themselves the trilinguals because you're only allowed to join the group if you speak more than two languages. And they have various things they do like uh, speaking in three or four languages uh, with each other and translating for each other into different languages, not their native language. So that was a lot of fun. And uh, generally, I, I think that uh, Japan is a very entrepreneurial society. We tend to think of Japan as the, the land of the Mitsubishis and the uh, Nissans, but it's very entrepreneurial. And I'm starting to see, I mean, it's probably been a, a long time developing, but I felt at this time, young entrepreneurs in language in the internet, people who understand that, that we don't need all of these books with essentially the same content. I looked at some of the Japanese books for learning other languages. There's more Japanese in those books than there is the target language. Uh, the, so yeah, I think things are gonna change. We wanna be part of that change. So with that in mind, uh, tomorrow we fly back, uh, Mark and I, uh, to Vancouver.